will often choose rather than send drop off the stage with like your typical uh, nair, nair, up air, back air. They'll honestly do nair, nair, up air, up air, where you put Rob above you. And the reason you want to do that, obviously, is because while Rob has plenty of mix when it comes to getting off the ledge and, and actually recovering, um, he has a lot less mix when it comes to getting down to the floor. A lot of the time, it's Nair. So if you have a disjoint, which Palutena does, uh, it can be really tough for him to get back down to the floor. Yep. Um, deal with a really nice way just to get off a ledge aggressively with the up tilt into up tilt. Not only dealing 55%, but just like able to give him back the stage control that he really, really wants. Um, I love the way that Dill used the down tilt actually to not only apply pressure, but to also low profile Ooh. under whatever Frozen wants to throw out. Big set of confirms by Frozen Air. Nice trapping so far by him with the ledge. Off a little bit ill advised. Up tilt up air is a stock. That DI is so hard. Um, it is really kind of super difficult to tell where you're going to go there, and it's why some yeah. people die so early. It's possible he might have been able to live longer. It is, of course, Battlefield. Battlefield, I think, mm -hmm. tied through some of the highest ceiling in the game. Yeah, second highest, I'm pretty sure. Um, after Town of City. And. Ooh. Uh, he was okay, so I like to grab out a shield from Dill a little bit earlier. He was expecting Frozen to do a retreating nail fast fall and backwards. Oh, nice. So the deal. grab was just like a really, really hard read. Off the stage now. Oh, and Dill is so poised in this matchup. He he knows all of the positioning for Palutena. That's like, okay, you're gonna go on stage and mix up now. And he's just yes. back on stage and ready to do it. And it's just like, that's crazy. How do you just know? Dill. Probably he knows this matchup better than oh, most wow. people out there. And uh, not too bad though. 95% of extra credit's really good. That is very similar to uh, Bay Bay and Eddie used to do in Smash 4, which you used to smash as soon as you hit the floor. Uh, you're actually still intangible at the very end of that because of your uh, Angel Platform invincibility. So yeah, a little bait. Doesn't end up working out that time for Dill. But um, that cute. back gift from like Dill it. was just like a really nice way of just like checking to see Frozen's mental state, I feel like. Because if you just ran into that and drop shield and rolled impatiently, you know, that back air would have done like a fantastic job of covering it. Wow. Um, beautiful forwarder to get back onto stage. And that is going to be the down throw oh, well, into can... up air. Wow, but... but the DI is incredible that time around. Yes. Side B? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really nice from Dill. Just like knowing exactly where Frozen is going to be if he wants to recover. Like, Frozen had no other options. Right? That's how he had to recover. If he wanted to make it right back onto stage. Frozen just, unfortunately, he's just like not being able to capitalize on some of Dill's defensive options. Like once he gets a good read in, you know, he's going to be dealing so much percent. He has to respect that move a little bit more. Can't land a back air out of shield, out of parry rather. Nice, the beautiful mix up again. And I, I'm sure, as like many of you know from watching Dill at um, Glitch and watching him in events in general, uh, he has some of the best mix-ups in the game in terms of recovering uh, from below the ledge. His jump mix-up with gyro, up air, back air, kind of pretty infinite. And he is not afraid to show them all to you. Ooh. Ooh. I really Let's like go. that from Frozen. Like, he was, like, so confident that Dill was just going to go up oh, above it. Oh. And that is the panic. Such I a good setup. That yeah. was just a brilliant setup. Because, honestly, if Dill wanted some more option coverage, he could have done down smash as well, which would have covered the tech out. Yeah, and the thing there is like it's kind of a panic situation for Frozen because you're like, oh, when when did that gyro get there? When did it get there? And you get hit by it, and you're forced into a tech situation. And yep. Dill is, is right there, ready. Brady boy, thank you for the subscription. You're the best. Yeah. Um. But yeah, and and Dill is right there waiting, and Frozen's not ready to say, okay, I'm in a tech situation. I need to go in a certain direction to avoid like a very specific option. He's like. Crap, tech. And he takes in place. You, you see that? Do you see that? Do you huh? see this character? See oh, that character? Wait, she's, right in, there? she's not in the game. No! No! He's going back to Quarren. Um, so for Violet. those of you guys Violet. that That's do Violet. not... I don't know who you're talking about. Frozen's for prepping for his main next week. Yeah, so next week, uh, for those who are not... Uh, next week, week after that, I don't know what week it is. But it's Violet Tuesday comes out... Week. Oh, is it? Yeah. So Violet will be the next, you know. So. Yes. Um, so yeah, Violet's coming out, and this is kind of preparation. For those who do not know, not up to date on their history, um... Uh, Frozen made this character in Smash 4. Those who guess. Uh, was very good with this character, might I add. One of the few people who like solo mained him, or him or her, depending on obviously your choices. Um, um, but right now, Dill is just making like the most out of the fact that Corlin, um, you know, 
like as good as her disjoints are, they're not necessarily the fastest yeah. in the air. And, and he's just like exploiting her vulnerability. Um, so that's going to be the down throw into the up tilt. However, um, not being able to connect the up air afterwards, he had to wait out the air dodge if he wanted that mix up. And um, so the reason Corn in this game is not nearly Whoa. nice roll. That was actually Beautiful. really solid. I'm not sure if that was a reaction or a read, but it was really solid. Um, the thing with Corn in this game, it kind of makes her a rather overlooked character. Um, oh. Dante's going to be able to Nice. Did not really get the gyro in hand. Um, he's going to be getting back here. Not a whole lot of mix. Is that like, while her range is pretty incredible, nice. Um, sh her kill power has been mitigated from Smash 4, and she doesn't really have the same uh, speed attributes, nor does she have good speed attributes in general compared to the rest of the cast in this game, and it's kind of problematic for her in neutral a lot of the time. She just str really struggles to get in in matches that she used to not struggle to get in at all. Uh, that was a beautiful F Smash from uh, Frozen. Mm -hmm. Just like really catching Dill off guard. He was not expecting that to be as disjointed as it was. That move has so wow. much range on it. The back is almost killing. And this character's probably stinks, but he gets back. Yes. Um, Corrin has quite the hitbox on the way up with the up B, but that time the back is actually going to be able to take it. Frozen just looking to get so, anything ooh, started. Nice. Well, exploiting like the fact that Rob is a big body, using the down air to the fullest potential. I really like that option. Nice. And Dill showing once again his pretty much infinite mix from uh, below the ledge with Rob. If you preserve your job. Oh, no. <laughs> Dill was so ready for that. He's like, oh, you down aired? Stupid, dumb, dumb idiot. Get Take us F smash, dummy. So yeah, that's gonna be Dill over um, Frozen. 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 Guess what we're seeing? And he died for it. Guess what?